How's it going? It's your boy, Maja Vernon, Ja AK, Mr. Money Man, aka I do real estate, aka I'm an entrepreneur. You know, out here at one of our properties, out here in Fort Worth, uh, property on Wyatt, uh, picked up. I uh, actually did a video on this property. Uh, I believe when we first got it, initial walkthrough, kind of, we had a couple guys in here working, but. Uh, we're headed to the closing table. This bad boy should close this week. Uh, I believe it closes Friday. I uh, just got to check with my partner and, and our uh, sales lady. But uh, finally got this one, uh, you know, fixed up. Uh, we did some initial repairs. We actually picked this property up with the intentions of selling it as is. Kind of ran into a few little issues. But, um, needless to say, we did a little work to it, uh, put it on the market, and we had, we got a got an offer on it. Uh, that particular bar didn't uh, make it to the closing table. You know, we kind of ran into some issues with pricing, things like that. You know, and they wanted a little bit more done than the normal. But uh, came back, initially did a few more little minor adjustments to the property, and... We are scheduled to close on Friday, and uh, I'm just doing my initial walkthrough prior to uh, closing. And like with this particular property, it was a clean property. The people had previously, as you can see in one of my my previous videos, we did, I, I kind of explained all that. But uh, property is not that much different than when we purchased it. Small little things was done. Uh, nothing fancy nothing major uh, uh you know all this original to when we purchased it I believe we might have changed the the faucets but uh outside of that all this was already done complete this was the only room that we literally had to do any type of uh, major cosmetic uh touch-ups to this was just like a blank canvas, you know, had to uh, finish the tape and bedding, uh, you know, textures, things like that. Uh, kitchen, pretty much same condition. But what I, uh, you know, just a few specifics on the deal, this particular property, initially, like I said, we got a contract on it right off the gate, you know, and... That buyer just was requesting a little bit too much uh, things done. So uh, we uh, we went ahead and relisted the property, put it back on the market, and we got another buyer very shortly thereafter putting it back on the market. And that particular buyer did request a few other things to be done, but uh, it was a better type of transaction than than uh the one we previously had so we were okay with doing some of those things and uh one of them is uh some repairs that was done outside the property uh carport things like that but uh this is this is the property and i mean we're scheduled to close on this particular property friday so you know that's always a plus when when you make it to the closing table and uh you know i guess the 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 main thing is you know you never know uh, uh you know where that that deal that buyer is going to come from you know we actually increased our our list price uh with this particular bar just due to the fact of what they wanted done you know this particular garage area had a new roof put on it we actually had to to build this uh this carport uh you know re reframe it restructure it uh but uh and also in the process we also put a new roof on the property previously it wasn't uh we we didn't expect to to change the roof uh to redo the roof but once uh the first buyer we had uh, requested it, so most of the little foundation stuff, but uh, uh, we ended up replacing the roof as well, as you can see. 
30-year singles put on. But, uh, you know, this is just my final walkthrough of the property, make sure everything is intact. You know, two days to closing. And just wanted to show y'all, man, it, it's not, you know, every property is not a, a you know, $40,000 rehab. This property literally has less than, uh, I would say, less than 15 grand wrapped up in it uh, as far as re rehab costs. Uh, and these type of deals are, are, are possible, you know, it just take, you know, getting with someone who knows what they're doing what they're looking for and can show you the same thing when it comes to uh you know cosmetic approach rehab as opposed to a full-fledged rehab and every property does not require it to maximize the return you're going to get so uh just doing my final walkthrough next time i'll be at this property uh I don't think that'll be won't be a next time but um yeah man y'all you know as i say in every every video you know you have to be willing you know and if 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 you don't have the experience if you don't have the the knowledge or the education you know get with somebody who can teach teach you the ins and out of the business and um if you don't have the financial resources, you know, you make it up with actions, activity, apprenticeship, you know, all the things where, you know, uh, you can get with someone and bring something to the table. So, you know, just wanted to do a quick walkthrough, you know, always looking for new people to come in and, you know, listen, come in and take the advice come in with something beneficial to where you might have a, a certain skill set that that might be very useful to me my company so uh you know it's always a, a barter system approach when it comes to education you know so never think that you just got to necessarily have funds or have to go out and and pay uh you know fifty thousand dollar course for you know some guru to to teach you this business you know you can uh literally uh meet up with certain people and they will show you the ropes in their business so stay tuned look for the next video and uh this is our last you know on to the next one this bar here will close friday you know you see it this time you might see it it should be a new homeowner in her and uh as I say, it's your boy, my job, Vernon Ja, a.k.a. Mr. Money Man, a.k.a. I do real estate, a.k.a. I'm an entrepreneur, working on my birthday, man. Ain't that something? No days off, because it don't pay off. It's your boy signing out. Peace.